construction will probably lead to a longer commute for many and it turns out that might not be so good for your health. That's right, many students who commute to work and school suffer from back and neck pains from all that driving. Our cars can be seen as a useful tool to help us get around, but the amount of time we spend driving or riding in vehicles could be the cause of some painful health issues. According to Jeremy Bills of Stanlick Chiropractic, it's not healthy to sit in our cars as much as we do. Well, our bodies aren't made for sitting. Our bodies are made to move, they're made for motion. So when you sit, when you're still for long periods of time, you became, become stiff, inflammation can build both in the neck and in the low back. So that lack of motion in general can lead to the neck and the back pain people get. On average, Americans spend about 25 minutes commuting to work. But many people travel much more than that amount of time in a single day alone. So I'm in the car probably two hours a day when I'm going to school and work. Each day probably, I'd say like three hours maybe. I drive a lot. And it's true that those who spend much of their time in the car experience increased neck and back pain. So I try to stay very focused on keeping a very straight back and posture because I know that that long commute can cause a lot of back pain and stress and neck pain. So I make it a point to try to sit up straight and not hunch over and such. And so I can avoid it sometimes. People who commute long distances to school or work may be more inclined to recline their seat back in their car to have optimum comfort for the road ahead. But the truth of the matter is, this placement for your spine is not ideal for a long period of time. Most people when they sit, they slouch, they roll back, they lean back like this. And that's the position most people sit into their car. Well, when you're like this in your car, obviously your back is in a vulnerable position. You drive for 30 or more minutes. That can really irritate it. When you find yourself suffering from extended back and neck pain, it would be beneficial to visit a chiropractor for a realignment. Anybody that has any neck or back pain, especially if you do a lot of commuting, you sit a lot in class, it's highly recommended to come in, get your spine checked out, see if you can implement a little bit of motion in there, prevent the pain from getting worse over time. So when starting your car, be aware of the position of your seat and your posture when sitting to help lessen the chance of spinal pain. For MT10 News, I'm Katie Inman.